Instead of creating a single continuous video, we have split the tutorials into bite-sized sections so you can easily find the help or advice you're looking for. In this tutorial, you will learn how to set up your camera and we will also take a look at the basic functions on the IW50 control dashboard. You will have read your quick start guide, supplied in the box with your device, and successfully registered and activated your IW50 camera before watching this tutorial. To begin, let's power up your IW50 camera. When you switch on your device, you will notice that the LED flashes slow red, indicating that the camera is searching for the IW Vodafone network. This can take a minute or two to establish. Once the camera has network availability, the LED will flash slow green. This is the normal state. For further information about the LED indicators and what they mean, please see the LED tutorial. Ok, now let's go to the IW50 control dashboard. To do this, you will need a web enabled computer. Anyone will do, as you don't need to download or install any software whatsoever. The application is internet based for ease of access, operation and of course updating with new features as they become available. First, go to www.iw50.com After a few seconds, the IW50 control dashboard will load and you will see the login screen. Now log in using the username and password you created when first registering your device. If you can't remember, check back on your emails as you will have been sent an account confirmation email. Next, make sure that your mobile phone is switched on and has signal. This is the mobile phone number you entered as your master receiver mobile during the activation process. We will need this so you can see how the system works with your mobile phone, such as receiving texts and images, etc. Ok, now let's take a quick tour of the control dashboard itself. Nothing too scary or difficult here. The dashboard is designed specifically for ease of use. Everything you need and nothing you don't. At the top here, you will see three icons. The first icon displays the amount of images used so far of your normal monthly allowance. The second icon displays the amount of control SMSs or text used of your normal monthly allowance. Obviously, 100% plus means all allowance has been used, but it is unlikely that you will ever exceed your chosen monthly data usage, so please don't panic. The third icon shows the amount of images displayed in the image bank window, here. The number of images shown is determined by the between dates, here. So, if we change this to show just one day, then you can see the amount of images displayed has now changed. Here you can see your chosen login name. It is here that you can log out, like so. The image bank window is where all the images are saved and displayed. If you click on one of the images, you will see that the image is displayed larger and includes some detail here. You can easily see the alarm activated images because they are animated, whereas the standard image requests are not. If however you prefer to stop the image animations, simply press the ESC key on your keyboard. Ok, moving over to the left of the control dashboard. First, you can see the IW50 device name. This can be changed and we will look at how to do this later. Next, you can see the refresh image bank button. As the name suggests, it refreshes the image bank. 
Next we have the Date Selection tool. Here you can select Between Dates. This enables you to display only the images taken between those days in the image bank. You'll notice the current date is highlighted here. Next we have the Device Commands function. The Capture Image button is used to capture a single image from your selected IW50 device. You can do this at any time wherever you happen to be in the world. Let's do this now. First, click the Capture Images button. This opens the Capture Image window. You will notice a command history here. This displays which users have used the Capture Image function, on what date and at what time. The Refresh command history simply updates this table. OK, now let's capture an image. Click the Capture Image Now button. You will notice a processing window pop up. This indicates that the command is being sent. You will notice after a few seconds the device LED flashing rapid green on the camera. This indicates that the device is taking the image and sending across the Vodafone network. The time this will take depends on the signal strength and how busy the mobile network is at any particular time. If you have your phone powered and it is set to receive SMS alerts, we'll look at this later, then after a few seconds you will receive a text. This lets you know that an image has been taken and is available to view. If you are also set to receive emails, again we'll look at this later, then you will receive an email. You can now view the image in three different ways.